nothing but sleep in bed. So that's not really an issue for younger kids, but school age and adolescents, even adults, like they'll hang out and do things in bed, like watch their TVs or be on their phones or on their iPads or doing homework or whatever, reading, whatever. The bed really should be for sleep. So the brain and the body make the connection. When I'm in bed, I sleep. Otherwise, when you're in bed trying to sleep, it's not sure why you're here. And so it's just way more helpful. Getting electronics out of the bedroom is really helpful. TVs, that kind of thing. The use of electronics has really come into more of attention because of screens and the fact that they emit a blue light that really does interfere with our body's physiological strategies for falling asleep. Technically, um, if we wanna have that blue light not interfere, we're getting that out, out of our way for three hours before bedtime. Society's been more likely to say at least 30 minutes, at least 30 minutes. I don't know many people who would shut everything down three hours before bedtime, but we have some success in getting people to at least take a break 30 minutes before you're trying to go to bed and go to sleep. So something is better than nothing, but it's not gonna be optimal at that mark.